St. Lucia's agriculture and fisheries sectors are vital to our nation's economy and food security, which is why the government of St. Lucia is making strategic investments to empower our farmers and fisher folk. On June 7, 2024, the government of St. Lucia ended years of neglect for the Mikud North fishers with a brand new jetty. Additionally, a $22.9 million grant from Japan is revitalizing the Shrizel fishing port. To further support our fisher folk, a 2.5 per gallon fuel rebate has been introduced, along with eight new fish aggravating devices or FADs and tracking devices for 300 vessels, enhancing sustainability and safety at sea. Over 1,000 farmers have received 1,000 gallon water tanks and 117 CMOS rafts have been deployed between 2023 and 2024 to boost the growing CMOS industry. One million in direct support has been provided to farmers who lost their bananas due to packaging shortages. 26.1 million has been invested in rainwater harvesting, soil conservation, and green agro-processing facilities. Additionally, 670,000 in fertilizer subsidies between 2023 and 2024, and over 120,000 subsidized siblings at $2 per plant are helping farmers achieve abundant harvests. Meanwhile, our banana industry is being revitalized with a $4 million investment to the National Fair Trade Organization and a new ripening facility in Lakai Denry. Through a partnership with the Kingdom of Morocco, 3,975 bags of fertilizer have been donated. Training programs are also empowering men and women in mushroom production and over 40 beekeepers have received emergency training in beekeeping harvesting. These initiatives represent more than just investments. They are pivotal steps towards reducing St. Lucia's food import bill, enhancing food security, and safeguarding the livelihoods of our farmers and fisher folk.